Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel with an Adobe Lightroom Classic tutorial on editing portraits. The trick with retouching portraits is to keep a balance between bringing out the best out of the person without removing every wrinkle and flaw and taking away their character or making them look fake. I like to start with basic adjustments. So I'm going to go over here to the basics panel and I'm I think that the overall temperature is just a little bit too warm, so I'm going to select the dropper. And normally I click on an area that's supposed to be white. The closest I can come to are the whites of her eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and click there. And I think that did a pretty decent adjustment. So we'll leave it at that. And then next I like to go down to the luminance panel and just bump up her skin, just give it a little boost. So I'm going to take the little tool here, go over to her face and just click and drag up a little just to give her skin just a little bit of a boost. And it makes her skin tone stand out just a little bit more. Then next, I'm going to start with a little blemish removal. Now the trick with blemish removal is first is that you only want to remove actual pimples. You don't want to start removing um, moles or other little skin things because that's part of the person's character and I think it can tend to look rather fake if you, um, if you do too much. So let's just zero in on her face. And I can see a few areas right here, 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 and here that I would probably remove. I'm going to leave these look like just like little freckles. I'm not going to do anything with that. And when she has something like this mole here, unless the person asks for it to be removed, I would probably go ahead and leave it because that's part of their um, part of them. So let's start up here and when you are using the spot removal tool, which looks like a little band-aid, be sure that you have it on heel and not clone. And I'm going to leave the feathering at zero and the opacity at 100. The brush size is going to vary. Uh, you want to make the brush size just a little bit bigger than the actual pimple. So I'm just going to hover over it and click. And Lightroom picked a spot way up here. That looks okay to uh, heal it and let's just move on down and so while I'm moving up and down in her face I'm just holding the space bar and moving my mouse so then let's just go over here to this little spot and that should clear that up and this if it doesn't select where you want it just hold your mouse just and drag it to a new spot and one more here, and that looks pretty good. So I think we're done with blemish removal. Now there's one thing I noticed up here. She's got a couple of hairs that are kind of bugging me. There's one right here and there's one over here. So we can go ahead and take care of that with the spot removal tool as well. So I'm just gonna make the circle a little smaller and I'm just going to brush over that hair and wipe that out and the same here and wipe that out and then there's one more right here and that looks pretty good so I'm just going to go ahead and click done and then next is skin smoothing first I'm going to go ahead and add a new mask and select a brush I'm going to move the feathering up to 100, leave the flow and density at 100, take auto mask off, just make the circle a little bigger and I'm going to brush on her skin. And I want to avoid her eyebrows, her eyes, her mouth, her hair. I just want to get her face. And I'm not going to be terribly perfect about it, but I think we're going to be close. If you get somewhere where you didn't want to, just hold the Alt key and your brush will turn into a minus and you can 
get rid of that. And you can always adjust your mouse size as you go. And you could even get above her eyes, carefully avoiding the actual eye. And why don't we go ahead and go down and get her neck as well. Go. She's so young, she doesn't need any real smoothing on her neck, but often you will want to also do some neck smoothing. So, now one thing you want to be careful with the skin smoothing. You don't want to overdo it and make them look plastic or fake. In years past, you would have used the clarity slider set to somewhere in the negative to adjust skin. Now with clarity, clarity affects the midtones and it also affects the saturation. So it sometimes doesn't look that great. If you go to the right, it looks really scary. If you go to the left, it actually um, lowers contrast and I just, it, it's not ideal. So I'm going to double click and zero on clarity to just, just to zero that out. So in recent years, Lightroom or Adobe has added a texture slider that actually works much better with skin. So it affects the edge details. So it's not as harsh if you were to drag it to the right and it's not as bland if you drag it all the way to the left. And you can also use both texture and clarity at the same time. There is actually a preset in Lightroom called, it's called um, Soften Skin Light. It's somewhere all the way down here, Soften Skin Light. Be sure to, uh, there's two of them. There's a Soften Skin and a Soften Skin Light. I like this Soften Skin Light better. And you can see it adds some negative texture and, ne and a little bit of negative clarity, and it looks pretty, uh, much more natural. So I'm just going to toggle off that mask so you can see the difference. This is the before and after. So I think it still leaves her looking natural. You can still see the texture in her cheeks and in her forehead. It's not all completely, um, you know, washed out. Let's talk about reducing wrinkles. She doesn't have many lines or wrinkles, but I can soften them a little bit using the spot removal tool. And again, you want to be subtle. You don't want to remove every wrinkle or it just will look fake. So I'm going to leave the feathering at zero. I'm going to move the opacity down somewhere, somewhere in the high 60s. I don't like to leave it at 100% because again, it usually is just too abrupt or too obvious. And again, I don't want to remove every wrinkle. wrinkle. I just want to soften them. So just like when you're we were removing blemishes. It's the same tool. I'm going to just go under her eye and brush this time. And Lightroom sampled from an odd area, so I'm going to drag that over here. Then let's just move on to the other eye. Let's just go under her eye here. And Lightroom again picked a weird spot, so I'm just holding down the shift or the um, holding down the space bar, and then I'm dragging the image so I can see where Lightroom sampled from, and I'm gonna just gonna move that down here. And let's just reposition this. And there, that looks that looks a lot better. So. You could also do a little bit of work here. This is a little trickier, so I'm going to make my brush small. Let's see, how can we do this? Uh, let's just see if we can hit both of these wrinkles right here at the same time. And I'm going to drag over here. This one is something that you may end up wanting to do in Photoshop if you really wanted to mess with it, but Let's just see if we can soften that a little bit. I'm going to leave it 
That's bothering me a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm just going to click Done here. Oh, well, one more thing we could do if you wanted. We could just soften this line right here. Let's just go back to the Spot Removal tool. Let's just make this small. And I'm going to drag. I wasn't very steady with my hand, was I? But that still worked. And I think that did a nice job. So let's move on to her eyes. And again, with the eyes, be sure to be subtle. So let's add a new brush, create a new mask, add a new brush. And with the eyes, let's work on the whole eye to start with. And I'm going to leave the feather flow and density at 100. I'm just going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to brush in the whole eye area. And I'm going to add a little bit of clarity. Not too much. I'm going to go way down. A little bit of clarity. I'm going to boost the exposure. Mm. Okay. Maybe too much. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to boost the whites just slightly. And we can look at before and after on that mask. This is the after, there's before. You can see, you can see that it made the whites of her eyes a little whiter and it just brightened her eyes a little. And then I'm going to add another brush. So let's create a new mask, add a new brush. Let's just brush on the irises this time. And there's actually a preset in Lightroom called Iris Enhance. Let's see if I can find it. If you don't have it, you can still just you can copy the settings, but I think that this is one that was included with Lightroom. So let me just find Iris Enhance. And I think that it might be a little too intense, so I think it boosts exposure a little too much. So I'm going to move this down a bit. And let's look at the before and the after. This is the after, there's before, after. And then we'll click on done. And then let's move on to her lips. We can enhance her lips a little, maybe just intensify her lip color just a little bit. So let's just go ahead and add a new brush. And I'm going to just increase the saturation brush on her lips and this amount is obviously going to vary depending on the person and whether they're wearing lipstick or if it's a guy or someone who just wants the natural look etc. So we just got a little bit of boost to her lip color. Finally, I'm going to whiten her teeth a little bit. So again, we're going to go create a new mask with the adjustment brush. And for the teeth, I'm going to increase exposure just a bit. And I'm also going to decrease saturation. and brush on her teeth. And if you need to see where you're going, if it's hard to tell if you hit every spot, just hit the O key on your keyboard and you should be able to see the overlay. That will kind of help you out. And just hit O again to hide it. And then we can look again the before and the after. 
here's the before, here's the after. So it's subtle without being too horrendously, you know, glaringly white. So here is the after of the portrait, and here is the before. After, before, and after. So I hope that helped you get an idea on how to enhance a portrait. There will be probably a couple other things I do here. I would try to get rid of this stray hair and these little bits of hairs that are kind of straggling on against her black sweater. Um, but I think that that gives you a good idea and a good place to start. So I hope that the, you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to do regular tutorials, so you'll get alerted to my new ones. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Thank you.